Hey everyone, it's Eric Thor here with an INFJ Christmas story. So you know, just like Santa Claus carries all the gifts and dreams of kind children on his back in his big sack, there is a turtle called Mr. Kind Shell. And Mr. Kind Shell is not a normal turtle. No, he's an INFJ turtle. And those are special. Those are rare. So this is my INFJ Christmas story. Somewhere in the world lives a boy full of worry. His life is a mess, so this is his story. People like to shrug over stress. They say, just buckle up and don't be a mess. But you know, that's just not how emotions work. They can make your whole system go berserk. Anxiety can creep up on you any day, sometimes for a reason and sometimes just to play. So too for this boy, his pain was just no ploy. His life was no fairy tale. You could see the tears in his eyes blister from far, far away. And even if you think no person might understand, there is a turtle far away with a pen in his hand. The turtle he lists, all the people who cry. He notes down their hopes and he wonders why. And then when he knows, he makes his way one step at a time. Mr. Kind Shell, so slow, he walks to the boy, through sunlight and moonlight, always on the go. He knows not to rush, for the stress would simply be too much. He needs his powers, his mind to be clear. Instead, like a seer, he allows himself rest, his house on the back, so he can always lay down and rest. He's blessed, because he knows his own presence is his throne. The turtle takes time to whistle, to rhyme, to enjoy all the dames, to make the best of his time. He walks through the waste, and not even the rain can lessen his smile. His hard shell, perhaps a metaphor for stubbornness and pride. His footsteps leave marks as he go. Small hints of wisdom, and some just of joy. And although the boy may not hear, his salvation is near, for the turtle is soon to be here. Yes, no zest, no joy, not even from playing with his favorite toy. Yes, Tris, this is truly the saddest boy. Forced and contrived, his smile is only pretend. The boy sits on the swing, from one side to another for minutes, then hours. He wonders, just what is the point? Cannot darkness flicker every light? Then he sees, first with fright, a creature so heavy, yet somehow so light. A creature so heavy, yet somehow someone able to walk, oh so steady. Who is that turtle, and why is he here? His fright turned to marvel, he smiles and he shares as the turtle comes near. At first they both stare, but then the turtle nods. This boy deserves a ride on the happiness bus. Together they talk about big questions pressing, family life, conflict and pain. The turtle just lets you complain. There's no shame. He'll never say that you're lame. He hums and he nods and he carries you a block and then, suddenly, he comes to a stop. Yes, from here, you must learn to make your own way, Mr. Kindshell parlayed. The boy understands, his legs feeling lighter, his pressure is less, and his darkness is brighter. He gets up, he takes a new step. The turtle was not here to take my pain, but to start me on the road to healing. So the boy let the turtle go, and suddenly, it started to snow. It was Christmas after all. And though you might think that your pain will never fade, the turtle will one day make its way to you too. It might just take a while because, you know, he's a turtle.